What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have something that I've been just vying to open. I have my Q-Pot haul. Now I did a tutorial last year about how you can order items off of the Q-Pot website because they do an annual Sailor Moon collaboration. This one came out over the summertime and I was lucky enough to get everything that I wanted from the collaboration and I went a little bit nuts. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got and hopefully give you a bit of a review of each item. Now I won't tell you how much everything costs in the video, however I will have all of those pricings down below so you can just check the show notes down below and see how much each of these items actually was priced at during retail. That way if you find them on eBay or resellers then you know what price is going to be reasonable. And again if you are interested in buying items from Qpot's future collaborations, since these items were only available in Japan they were not available on their international online store, you can check out that video that I did previously talking you through how to order items from the Qpot store in Japan. Well I am excited to get into this box because it has been just staring me in the face for like weeks now so I'm finally having the time to open it so I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it and tell you all about each of these items. As usual I think it's probably easier if I just take everything out and then I will unbox each item for you and tell you a little bit about it. Ooh, this is a lot of stuff y'all. Now some of these items were only available in their cafe, the Qpot Cafe in Tokyo. If you hear any items it's because my cat is sitting in a box right next to me and she's sitting like on top of the bubble wrapper so I can't really do anything about that unless I kick her out and I don't want to because she's really cute. What I did want to mention is that some of the items sitting next to me were purchased through a proxy because they were only available in the Qpot store. However most of these items I was able to get directly from the Qpot website myself. I will go ahead and start with whatever I grab. So the first thing that I grabbed are my coasters. So I pretty much almost have every single Qpot coaster now. I've tried to collect all of them and luckily I have found most of them for fairly good prices. So this time they did bring back the original Inner Senshi coasters for this year's collaboration. So I got Sailor Moon, I got Tuxedo Mask, I got Sailor Venus, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mars, I got the new version of Sailor Moon. Oh, and I got an extra Sailor Moon coaster. That's cool. I think the only one I'm missing now is Sailor Star Fighter. Pretty sure. I think I have every other coaster from the Qpot collaboration. So I'll have to check and if somebody finds that one, I would love to add it to my collection so that I can complete the whole thing because that would be amazing. Okay, next we have a white box. All of their items came in unmarked boxes, so I don't know what this is. I do know what this is. So each year Qpot comes out with two different mugs that are themed to be like desserts but Sailor Moon as well. So this year they came out with this chocolate colored mug that has a bunch of gold foil that's built into it really really pretty mug. It has Luna and Artemis macaroons all over and then it also has the Sailor Senshi symbols for the inner Sailor Senshi. Very very cute. Along with that mug I also picked up the Sailor Moon mug as well. So this one is a light pink color. It also has the inner Sailor Senshi symbols all around but it also features a really pretty silhouette of Sailor Moon on the front and on the back we have a pretty silhouette of the Moon Castle and that has Prince Endymion and Princess Serenity on it. It also has the same kind of theme as the other mug so you will see similar designs on both of them. Oh this next item is so cute! So this is a heart accessory case. It's made out of porcelain I guess uh, but it features the same kind of print that you saw on the mug so it has the uh, moon castle as well as Prince Endymion and Princess Serenity and it says Qpot Sailor Moon in that pretty gold foil. I really like this heart-shaped case. It's very cute. It's very intricate and this was actually a free item that you got if you spent over I think it was 40,000 yen was the price. So like $400 and then you would get one of these little free cases. Really, really pretty. So if that one came in that box, that must mean this one is the Sailor Moon version. So the Sailor Moon version was only available in the cafe. So this is one of the items I had to get through my proxy, but this features a gorgeous silhouette of Sailor Moon. It's the same exact size as the other heart accessory case, and it's also made out of porcelain. So you have to be careful with it, but this was also a free item that you got with your order. 
very pretty. Next item we got, this is most likely going to be the, ah, the parfait glass. The parfait glass is actually pretty big, so you could probably actually use this for a parfait. At least that's what they did in the Coupot Cafe. Uh, so this one features the same exact silhouette of Sailor Moon, and it also has this melty image going on at the top as well as the bottom. And it is glass, so you have to be really nice and careful with it. I would recommend ha hand washing it if you do end up using this. I will probably use it to put things in because that's what I do with all of these glasses is I put things in them. Another accessory I got for purchasing a certain amount was this little, I think they called it a charm misanga, but it's basically a little like charm bracelet or charm hair tie because it's elastic. Uh, there were five different colors for the five different Sailor Senshi, inner Sailor Senshi. I got the one that is Sailor Moon. However, you could also end up with um, any of the other colors for the inner Senshi. I really like it. It's cute. It's something that's very small, so it's dainty, and it's not something that's like super like fandom Sailor Moon. So you could wear this and nobody would know that you're a Sailor Moon fan. However, why would you want to do that? We all want everyone to know that we are Moonies, don't we? At least I do. This is a very pretty hand towel that you could get from the accessory store from Coupot. This features the same silhouette of Sailor Moon. Are we seeing a pattern? I know I am. Very pretty, really pretty coloring on here. Features a light pink for her silhouette and then it goes out to a dark pink around the edges. Nicely made. These are really pretty hand towels that I'm never going to use because they're, well, they're just too gorgeous to do so. Another accessory I chose to get was another umbrella because you can't have too many umbrellas. You know, they're always breaking and everything like that, so I decided to get an umbrella. I haven't even opened this thing yet, so it's really nice right now. You can tell that it's never been opened. Uh, but it comes with a sleeve. This is what the sleeve looks like. Uh, the sleeve can be unwrapped. There's a button on the sleeve, which is really cool. Oh, and it turns into a little baggie. That's so nice. So this is the little umbrella baggie. That's very, very fancy. Uh, I chose the black one just because I like the design more on this one. However, there was also a pink one available for sale too. There we go. Okay, so that is what the umbrella looks like. It features the Luna and Artemis macaroons. It looks almost exactly like the mug, so not much to say here about it. It is a small umbrella, so there's not very much space underneath it, but it'd be really, really good for traveling, especially since it's so small and compact. I think that you could stick this in a purse and easily take it with you. Now, according to the tag, it is both rain and UV protection, so you can use this in the sun or the rain, no matter what. You can totally use it for anything. So moving on, there were also a couple of plates that I wanted to collect because I get all the plates from Coupot. These two match as far as I know. So the first of the two plates is this one, which is a red color, and this features the transformation brooch in the middle in a pretty gold foil. So really cute, and it is made out of porcelain, so you need to be careful with it. This will most likely be displayed behind me because it's so pretty, and it looks like the center of her fuku, so really cute plate, definitely going to display it. The other one that I got features the crystal star in the middle of a pink, like a light pink pastel plate. Uh, so this one is really pretty too. I think those will look adorable next to each other. These are called Moon Fairies Biscuits. I don't know why they're Moon Fairies, but they are. Um, but these feature Luna and Artemis, and they come in two different flavors. Uh, the flavors for these are potato and cheese. So how about we try these potato and cheese biscuits before they expire? Eh? Oh, that's nice. They come with a little sealed top, so they aren't going to get gross or anything. That's nice. I like that there's the plastic on the top of it. I'm assuming that the purple ones are probably potato, so I'll try this one first. It smells really good. Uh, they're kind of broken, like all of them are broken down the middle, which is a little disappointing given that they should have, you know, stuck together much better. Mmm. This is surprisingly good. Okay, that was like really tasty. I'm surprised. It wasn't too sweet and it wasn't too bland and it had just enough flavor to be really tasty. Not too potato-y, I would say. Just, it was kind of perfect. So I really like that biscuit. Mmm, I would eat more. Okay, next we have cheese, which I'm assuming is based on Artemis given it's the lighter color. 
Oh, there's the cheese. Yep, it tastes like a, oh, that has a aftertaste that definitely tastes like cheese, like cheddar cheese. Kind of reminds me of Cheez-Its, but not as strong. So if you like Cheez-Its, but you don't like how strong they are, you would like these, because these taste like Cheez-Its, just a little bit less. <laughs> I'm actually pretty satisfied with each of the biscuit types. I thought these were both really tasty, so I'm pretty happy with these. I will actually eat them. Oh, this is cool. One of my proxies gave me the flyer for the Q-Pot haul. So that's awesome. I will definitely have to look through here. There were a bunch of things on here that I did not get. Like there was a dress that you could buy and I was just like, nah, chances are that wouldn't even fit. So there's a lot of things that I just chose not to buy out of this group, but I did get a lot of the jewelry, so let's go ahead and get into the jewelry line. So I love the Q-Pot jewelry. I think it's gorgeous and it always uh, astounds me with how high quality their jewelry seems. Uh, so each of the ones come with a collectible little box. This is a little cardboard box, so nothing high quality there. But it does have pretty gold foil on the front and the same silhouette of Sailor Moon for each of the different pieces. So if you're like me and you ordered like tons of jewelry, you're gonna have a lot of these little boxes. So I'm just gonna open these from the pile. I don't know which ones are which, so it's gonna be really fun to check them all out. It looks like the first one I have is the Princess Moon Cupcake Necklace. Wow, this is so much prettier in person. Although I do wish that this little princess at the top was 3D instead of flat. See, it's flat. I, I'm not a big fan of it being so flat. This is a cupcake that has a little uh, silhouette of Princess Serenity up at the top. It looks like a vanilla cupcake with gold foil at the bottom to cover the, uh, the actual cake part. And then the icing looks white, so it could be like vanilla icing with some little pearls all along it. Uh, which definitely is on brand. Uh, it comes with a silver chain, which I'm also not a huge fan of. I think it would look a lot better with a gold chain as opposed to silver because the silver just does not match the actual icon. Uh, but overall, the cupcake itself is very, very pretty. The bottom of the cupcake says Q-Pot Parlor. Q-Pot Parlor all over it, so it's printed on there. That is cute. It looks like I have another necklace here. Ah, this one is Artemis. So this is the uh, Artemis macaroon necklace. This one does feature a pretty gold chain and it features a macaroon that looks like Artemis and it has a little gold moon on the front of it for Artemis's gold moon on his forehead. So it's a white macaroon with white inner frosting and then we have some Swarovski crystals on the inside. Uh, there's two clear ones that are like a whiter color and then there's one that's more of a like brown color which is also really pretty. This necklace is cute. It's not overpowering. It's really pretty. It's not dainty, but at the same time, like it's a really pretty piece of fashion jewelry. Ooh, this one is pretty. Now I believe this one is called the Makeover Brooch Macaroon Key Holder. Uh, this Makeover Brooch Macaroon Key Holder is a keychain, obviously. It comes on a gold chain. Uh, it features a little icon that says uh, Q and it has a crescent moon around it. So that's the little Q pot logo for the collaboration. And then we have the macaroon, which is based on Sailor Moon's transformation brooch. Now on the front of it, we have those pretty Swarovski crystals that are super, super sparkly. And it features each of the colors of the inner Sailor Senshi with a gold plate crescent moon that is kind of stuck right on the top of some icing on the front of this macaroon. The inside of the macaroon is also white frosting, and then of course it's a yellow macaroon. Really, really pretty. Uh, I love the big gemstones on this. I think it's gorgeous, so this is definitely one of my favorite pieces. Next we have the Sailor Petite Jewelry Necklace. So this one is like a little hard candy in a wrapper. I got the Sailor Moon one, so that features a pink wrapper, and then the inside is a very light peach, almost like a peachy color for the crystal. It's on a gold chain, and the gold chain is super, super short, and it is also labeled on the back of it with a bunch of little crescent moons and the inner Sailor Senshi symbols. This is really, really gorgeous, and this is something that you could wear pretty much every day since it would go really well with an outfit. Uh, it's not overpowering. It's a very small piece of jewelry and something that's really cute. I love this. I wasn't sure if I would like this in person or not because I wasn't sure how big it would be, but given it's so small and dainty, I think that it's really pretty. 
And to match the Artemis macaroon necklace that I got, I also decided to purchase the Luna macaroon keychain. So this one is the little key holder or keychain, comes in a gold chain, and it features more of a purple colored macaroon with the gold crescent moon on the front. And on the inside we have yellow icing as opposed to white. And this one also has the three different Swarovski crystals. Uh, one of them is a peachy color and the other two are clear colors. Really pretty. Okay, I'm just trucking along here with all of my jewelry. Uh, this next one is also a key holder. This one is the Sailor Ribbon Macaroon bag charm. So this bag charm is the Sailor Jupiter one, obviously. It features a little mini macaroon on a gold chain. The front of it has this really pretty sugar-coated uh, candy for the bow, for the Fuku bow, and then we have a huge green Swarovski crystal in the center. On the inside it features icing that is a white color, and then it has little green crystals that are kind of set into the icing. And as far as the macaroon goes, it's pink and green, which are also totally on trend with Sailor Jupiter's colors. Now this one did come in five different colors for each of the inner Sailor Senshi. I wish they would have made ones for the outer Sailor Senshi too, but hey, Maybe we'll see that next year. Okay, this next one is also on a silver chain and this matches the first one that I showed off. It's the Princess Moon Cupcake Bag Charm. So it's just like the first one, that necklace that I showed you, but it's in a bag charm format as opposed to a necklace. And similar to the Makeover Brooch Macaroon key holder that I showed you, this is the Makeover Brooch Macaroon necklace. So this one features the same exact transformation brooch, but it's in the necklace format. So just from looking at it, I can tell that it's made the exact same way. Uh, the only difference is it's on this really pretty chain necklace as opposed to being a key holder. Now the chain necklace does feature a little pearl up at the top to help you latch it, and it has little stars that link the chain together. Uh, you also get the little crescent moon that has the Q-Pot logo on it. All right, I am officially on my last piece, and this is the one that I was dying to get because I was so excited about it. This one I ordered from my proxy because I was unsure if they would have it in stock on the website or if they would sell out immediately. They did sell out fairly quickly, so I am glad that I got it from my proxy. But this is the Melty Moon Castle Necklace. So this necklace features a pretty simple gold chain all the way around, and it also has the Q-Pot Crescent Moon logo up at the top. The castle itself is made out of what feels like acrylic, and it's also made out of a nice metal. On the front of it, we have that pretty silhouette of Prince Endymion and Princess Serenity and it features a really pretty pearlized uh, palace that has gold lining. The back of it is somewhat see-through, which is kind of cool, and on the back it says, you are just my love. Oh, It's really heavy. This is like the big quality piece that they decided to sell this year, and it is very, very pretty, so I'm really happy that I got it. I also noticed that the prince and princess are standing in front of what looks like uh, what would be a stained glass window, and that stained glass window features the inner Sailor Senshi symbols along with the crescent moon right at the top. And that's a really, really neat little additional feature. All right, so that is everything from the Q-Pot collaboration. I absolutely adore the jewelry and the accessories from Q-Pot. It's one of my favorite collaborations with Sailor Moon. So I always look forward to it every single year. So I definitely collected like everything that I could get my hands on this year for sure. Let me know which item is your favorite. I would love to know down in the comments below. And I think that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and make sure to comment below again about which one is your favorite item out of this collection. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, my name is Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Johnny.